Well, hello. If you were just watching, hello again. Sorry about that. It's Tuesday, and it's Torah Tuesday, and that is a good thing. And if you were just watching, let's try that again, okay? If you didn't, welcome. I hope the weather's treating you okay. Get ready for the hurricane. Yeah, I know. Okay, I guess we'll just play with it a little bit, and hopefully this time it works. In this week's Parsha, Kitavo, Kitavo means when you come. Moses is finishing up the second of the three sermons to the children of Israel before they enter the Promised Land. The relationship between God and the children of Israel is changing. Actually, it's maturing. No longer will take God take care of their every need. They must grow their own food, learn how to economize their food and resources. They learn how to save money for emergencies and support the Levites. Sound familiar? The relationship between God and the children of Israel is becoming more like a partnership. No, more like a marriage. Each side brings something to marriage. The groom brings unique skills and values, as does the bride. Each promises to take care of each other in good times and bad. In our marriage ceremony, we signify this relationship with a ring. The ring has no beginning, it has no end. And the ketubah, or marriage agreement, which expresses what each side brings to the relationship. God gives us life, nurtures, brings understanding, compassion, and support. God gives us the misfot. God is the bride. We bring the support and follow the misfot. What are we? We're the groom. Together we make a marriage. In order for any marriage to be successful, we have to bring more than we take to the relationship. We can't depend on our partner to do everything. Thus, we can't depend on or expect God to do everything for us. Like the children of Israel, we are no longer in a parent-child relationship with God. We are partners, and as partners, we share in all the triumphs and, yes, the tragedies. Look at our marriage or relationship with, mar with God like planting a seed. Put the seed in rich soil and water, tend to it regularly, and it will grow into a healthy, wonderful tree, bearing rich, wonderful fruit. Neglect the seed, and like love, it will most certainly die. Okay, so that's what our relationship is becoming. So in today's world, we, of course, have to use the example of marriage. Okay. We can't accept, we can't accept, we can't expect God to do everything for us. So when something bad happens, for example, a hurricane, we can't look at the sky and say, why did you do that? Right? What happened to the concept of free will? What happened to repair the world, to kun olam? Okay. What happens? Well, I'll tell you what happens. Okay. We can't expect God to do everything. Does God sit there with thunderbolts and lightning bolts and make it thunder? Of course not. It's weather. Weather is a set in, we know, we believe in science. Weather has its reasons. God set the world in motion and he lets it play out. Okay? That's what's going on. We're not being punished. God is punishing us for something. No, 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 no. That's all BS rhetoric. That's all medieval thinking. That's all pre-biblical thinking, okay? We're not getting punished because it rains. We did something wrong, so there's a hurricane. No. That's just BS, 
okay? We know better because we believe in the modern world. Not only do we believe science, but we believe we're in partnership with God, that God's not the parent figure up there with the, with the gray beard sitting on his throne in a cloud punishing us. No, that doesn't happen, okay? And that's what's happening in Keats of Bo, is that God is telling us that, okay? He's not going to feed us like manna in heaven and keep the light of the near Tamid constantly on so we can find our way. No, we have a brain. It's up to us to decide good, evil, which way we're going to go. That's what it means in the modern world. Okay, sorry about the earlier technical. Yes, I know. It keeps, people keep telling me about the technical issues. Well, thank you for watching. That means you're watching me. That's great. And thank you for telling me that on the side there, okay? I hope you all have a great week. I hope you have a great Shabbat. And I will see you here next Tuesday. Hopefully, technically sound. Hopefully without any problems next Tuesday for Torah Tuesday. And that is always a good thing. Have a good week. Peace out.